Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and our champion Mayo is in labor. So Mayo here decided to go pretty early this morning. I thought I was gonna have a little bit more time, but she just let out some pushes. For Mayo, this is gonna be her fifth freshen, her fifth time having babies. And Mayo is a third generation champion. So her mama's a champion, her grandma's a champion, and she's about to have little champion does for me. I know it. All right, so when we came out this morning, checked her ligaments at 7.30 and they just felt squishy. She wasn't acting like anything. And once we started milking, we noticed she wasn't eating and just off to the corner. So we definitely thought, okay, we better get her in a stall. So we did, and here she is. She's having that baby. I can already see her sack. There's a baby coming. She's a good girl. I suspect she definitely has two because she's that big. You're doing good, Mama. And her udder is telling me she's got two does. So we'll see if I'm right. So Mayo was bred to Vader again this year because last year she had two gorgeous babies. Uh, <laughs> yes, girl with Vader and I wanted to repeat that breeding. So Mia, has her daughter from last year, has turned out lovely. We are close, mama. She's such a pro at this. So it's 10 o'clock right now. So the time we actually found her, or checked her this morning rather, to now has only been two and a half hours. So I'm glad she waited for a chore time to be over. Just in time, huh, girl? You're doing good. I can't tell if that's the kid's sack or not. Yeah, it is. But no kid, great. Okay, there's not a kid in that bubble. Let's just hope it's a big kid, okay? Da 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 You got this almost, girl. Let's push that baby out. That perfectly positioned baby. So she got that first initial hard part out of the way. The first stuff that comes out, huh, girl? I'm gonna take a little break. So today is April 13th, and Mayo here's due date is tomorrow. So she's going one day early. Oh, good girl. You're good. Good job. Good job. Okay, can't tell. That's a hoof. Oh, I feel a little face. Okay, we're good. She's super wide, so even if there's one leg back, she should not have an issue. Good girl. Oh, little baby moving. Ready to come out. <laughs> you got this. Kid. It is a big kid. Okay. Good job, girl. Good job, good job. Yeah. Yeah, just one hoof so far. though that baby's being good 
is just really big, Mama. There's no way you got a giant single in here, right? <laughs> You're getting there. Tongue's out. You moving? You can't move. You don't got no room, do you? You're all right, girl. Well, this kid is ginormous. You got it, girl. All right, come on. Let's see if I can get some feet out here for you. You're doing it. Oh, almost there, girl. You push. Okay. Push. Okay. Oof. I almost feel like these hooves are like this and the elbows might be back. So if she gets this kid out a little bit further, I can pull those legs. Because I bet you anything will <laughs> Almost. Oh, if we could just get over that big old forehead. Ah! <laughs> Almost, mama. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's a giant. I know. I know. You're doing good. You're doing good. <sighs> it's a blue-eyed little mm -hmm. angel. Coming. We need a break. Okay. We gotta get this baby out of that canal, girl. See if I can pull that. Oh, there we go. That should help a little. Your little tough legs, you stinker. Okay. Yes, you had tucked shoulders. Holy moly. Jeez. Here, girl. You're huge. Over here. Hi. Oh. It's what? a little mayo. It, <laughs> it is a giant buckling. Giant. Jeez. So. I was hoping it would be two does in there because of the size of her udder, but really, maybe that was just one giant buckling. I hope not, though. She's got more in there. You are the biggest kid this year so far, mister. Sheesh. Let's see. Oh, blue-eyed and pulled. Oh my gosh, look at him. He looks a lot like you're buckling from last year. You did good, Mama. Jeez. You're just giant. <laughs> Hello. You are just gorgeous. Look at that wide muzzle, dude. That is what you would love to see a baby look like. Yes, yes. 
You're not even on your feet, and I can tell you're a rock star. Too cute. He's gonna climb on your back. You already gonna climb on her back? He's just walking away. He's moving out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Was that good? Yes. <laughs> Need a little more? Well, if she's got any more babies, I hope he doesn't drain the other before she has them. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Oh. oh, baby, good thing you got a goat head. That was. You're hard headed too? Jeez, it didn't even face me. Hi. Figure it out. You're just okay, he's running laps now. <laughs> Yesterday, Rugi had her babies, and they are doing awesome. She had, if you guys didn't see, two does and a buckling. So I'll just show you how adorable they are. So this here's a little doe. And this little doe has quite a few little moon spots. Just, oh, she's so cute. She's a cutie. And then, this big old girl, you are like three times the size of your sister, and she also has a bunch of moon spots. I know, I know. She's cute. She looks like Rugi with moon spots. Yes, very lovely dog. And then this little buckling, who is pretty big himself. He's really not that little. He's got pretty cool markings on him. Yeah, and he's a pretty chill little dude but they're all doing so good, aren't you? So Rugi has been being a really good mom. She's doing awesome. She's feeding them really good. And she's doing just, again, amazing for a first freshener and with triplets. All right, you guys, it's really late. We just got done choring. All of the batteries are going dead and obviously everybody around here is super tired. So I'm gonna sit here with Ray and I will let you guys know how it goes. Okay you guys, so here's what happened with Ray. As you guys know, I was having a really hard time getting her to dilate and she had a mispositioned kid that was trying to come out back first and until I got her dilated, I wasn't gonna be able to push that kid back to reposition her to try to pull her out. After multiple, multiple attempts that evening to try and manipulate her cervix to dilate more, um, I just, there was very, very minimal progress happening. So I just sat there with Ray feeling super scared and very defeated. 
And again, just, just knew I needed an experienced goat friend to talk this through with. And uh, so I texted my friend Danelle. It's never too late to call. What's up? So Danelle is amazing. She instantly called me after I texted her because she knew that I needed her. And so I just explained to her what the situation was with Ray. And she just so happened to have experienced that with one of her goats a few years back. So she was able to talk me through it, what happened when she had to experience it. And, and literally, you guys, she just calmed me way down and she just gave me the confidence that I really, really needed at that moment in time uh, to go in and try to save Ray and her babies. So in the end, I just was not applying enough pressure to manipulate Ray's cervix into further dilating. I was just so scared to rip or tear her um, that I, I was just being too soft with it. Um, and I can honestly tell you guys, had Danelle not been there for me that night, I don't know that Ray and the babies would have survived. So we all need an awesome friend like that. And although you guys probably can't get Danelle on the phone, you can have the next best thing. So Danelle has taken the time to put together a one-stop masterpiece called The Complete Guide to Raising Goats that all goat owners should have. Her course covers anything you'd need to know about raising goats and is very easy to follow and understand. The guide is loaded with information, diagrams, and even videos, you guys. So when I say every go owner should have this guide, I genuinely mean it. As if Danelle isn't awesome enough for uh, making this guide and creating it for all of us to be able to lean on, um, when I called and asked her if she would mind me mentioning this guide to you guys, she offered a $20 off coupon code. So what I'm gonna do is leave the link to her guide in the description and make sure that you guys use the coupon code BLUECACTUS20 so that when you purchase it, you get $20 off. Okay, so now back to Ray. If you guys saw the last video, we just ended it with Ray just waiting on her forever and ever and all day. Um, and she finally had three babies. Okay, so it was almost midnight by the time she had all three of her babies. And so I was telling you guys, she was not dilated. Um, so I really had to spend a lot of time, about every 30 minutes I'd go in and just massage that cervix. Um, and it was just slowly but surely opening up enough that I could untangle this little doe here. She was in a ball, like her, she was trying to come out right here on her back so I could feel the ribs. Um, but when I finally got in there, when she finally was dilated enough for me to go help and I pushed the baby back, her head was also tucked under. There is no way she would have ever passed this baby. And so because it was just her back right here that was when she was having contractions, it just wasn't sending her cervix into hard enough contractions to actually open up and dilate. Mayo still is holding out with my daughter. But anyway, this little girl here, I thought she might be dead because it was really hard. Ray was pushing so, so hard. And little did I know, I knew that there was at least one more kid, but she had two more in there. So obviously trying to push back um, a kid when they're that full of babies is very, very hard. But we got her out. It took a little bit uh, to actually get her breathing. I, I mean, literally, literally, I thought she was dead and I was just rubbing her and like, gosh, come on, be alive. And then she let out a little, uh, and I knew she was alive. And she's doing so healthy, so great. I know, I know. Oh, and her lungs work, so. <laughs> Took her a little while to get breathing, but her lungs are perfect now, aren't they? She's a little champ daughter, so of course she's a champ. I know. Okay. Good job, girl. Then she had a buckling. I know, I know. So I don't know if you guys can see his little moon spots. Right there, he's got a big one on his leg. Huh, cause, yes, his daddy is moon spotted. See that side so he's pretty flashy little dude he's so cute 
Also very, lungs are working really well. All right, so that is a buckling. And then she had this little buckling, who also has moon spots. So, cute little kits. Yes. So anyway, that was uh, not the funnest delivery I've had to assist with. Um, and of course, Ray did not think it was very fun, but she's doing awesome. She's doing awesome. She's being a good mama. She's feeding them. And uh, yeah, they're all healthy and good. So wonderful outcome. It was just kind of a little bit of a sucky situation to get to the wonderful outcome. Well, it is 11.15, so it has been about an hour, and she is not showing any signs of having more babies. And I did bump her, I felt something kick back a little, but I'm thinking it was the placenta. The size of the udder would make sense, either two does or one giant buck, so... Oh, yeah. She is still looking pretty big, but she hasn't passed any of the afterbirth or anything either, so. What is the point of that girl? Sheesh. So there you have it, you guys. Mayo had one amazing, gorgeous buckling. Do you want to say hi? Oh. Look at this boy he's so pretty let's see he's a little white buckskin so pretty blue-eyed and pulled gorgeous here mama so i'm going to keep a close eye on her and just make sure that she passes this placenta here soon and there you go guys Another baby on the ground. All right. We will see you guys again soon. Hello, goat lovers. This is Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and Emily. Good morning, goat lovers. Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. Hello, goat lovers. Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. Hello, goat lovers. Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. And welcome to our 10th kidding season. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Back in November of 2022, we bred a bunch of goats, and now they're due. Any day now, there'll be kids on the ground, and they'll be running around in their kid pen on the A-frame, playing king of the mountain and reindeer games, and they all will settle down after we feed them. Welcome to our 10th kidding season. It's kidding time again. Let the birthing season begin. The big day is finally here. It's kidding time again. Welcome to our 10th season. It's her favorite time of year. Yeah, we started out with two goats in a rented house on a dirt road not knowing all that was in store now here's the 10 more it's kidding time again let the birthing season begin the big day is finally here it's kidding time again welcome to our 10th season it's her favorite time of year it's kidding time Guess who is finally in labor? 